Hey everybody, welcome to Burra Tech. In this episode, we're going to be talking about how to price your iOS app in 2019. Alright, welcome back. So, I've been an app developer for a long, long time. In fact, in 2010, I released a ton of iOS apps. Now, a lot has changed since then, and we're going to be talking about that. So every year, you have to figure out how you're going to succeed in business. And this isn't just about the App Store or iOS or whatever it is you're doing. This is about literally every kind of business. In fact, I do this with everything from my business to my personal expenses, things like cell phone plans, internet plans, etc. And you should too. So how should you price your iOS app in 2019? Well, let's talk a little bit about what I did back in 2010 and what I've done over the years. Now, back in 2010, the App Store was fairly new and at the time, basically people had free games and the customers were very reticent to spend even a dollar on an app. Thankfully, things have changed and you see a lot of people buying apps that don't require any kind of freemium model. If you don't know what freemium is, freemium is a type of business plan where you give it away for free, have ads, and then charge extra money. So today, people are willing to pay money and on the iOS App Store specifically, there is the option to bundle your apps and I highly recommend doing this. By bundling your apps and giving a discount, you'll give your customers a discount and people will be more likely to pay more money for a ton of your apps. Now the freemium model isn't dead. In fact, the top earners on the App Store are free and there's in-app purchases. Now, these in-app purchases are everything from removing ads to specific in-game items. In fact, these in-game items is where most of the profit is made. The question you have to ask yourself is your game big enough to have these in-game items and are people going to pay for it? Now, the top earners in the app stores not only make a lot of money, but it costs a lot of money to make those games. It's very hard for an independent studio or yourself as a hobbyist to make a game on that level. So you need to ask yourself a hard question. Can you compete with Fortnite or all these other top games or are you going to go to a different market? Now, if you want to make the most money with your game or app, you need to figure out what your target market is willing to pay for that app. And furthermore, your pricing strategy needs to be organic to the game itself. For instance, we produce a lot of apps for kids and we found that parents are willing to pay money as long as there's no ads. If you don't have kids, you won't understand this. The reason is, is that kids will click the ads and then start crying because they're not in their favorite game. Now this isn't the same as teenagers because teenagers don't have a lot of money, they're more likely to download the free game and then maybe they might remove the ads. So in order to make the most amount of money, you need to figure out what your demographic is for your game and what the best pricing strategy is for that. So in 2019, what is the correct answer for making the most amount of money from your games on the iOS App Store? The answer is that the App Store has grown since its inception and there is no one size fits all strategy. And because there's no one size fits all strategy, you need to work on your pricing just as much as you work on your game. So have you released a game or thinking about releasing a game? Please put the link down below. We want to see your games. Today's featured course is how to build a battle royale in Unity from scratch. Learn to build a game exactly like Fortnite from scratch. Thanks for listening. Please be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in another video.